up, guys? So I got a couple of comments and some emails about uh, using the Festool Domino XL without a vacuum cleaner. Now, if you're like me and you're slowly trying to upgrade your tools as you can afford it, um, you know, a $1,500 tool plus a $700 vacuum kind of hits the wallet right where it counts. So uh, I have the Fest tool. I'm working on getting some other stuff set up, but in the meantime, before I actually go and spend that $800 on the vacuum, uh, I figured out there is a way to actually hook up my shop vac to the Fest tool, and that's what we're going to talk about right now. So I have a nice rigid shop vac. This thing's a couple years old. It was a nice Christmas gift. I've already gotten an extension hose for it, and it actually hooks directly into my radial saw, which is awesome. It also hooks right into these rigid tools that are, you know, rigid and rigid, so they're pretty much made for each other. Uh, but they're not made to hook up to the Fest tool. And why is that, you say? Well, if you don't know, the Fest tool has this little bitty tiny dust port, and it's awesome. Um, it's super efficient, especially when hooked up to, uh, you know, the Festool vacuum system. Uh, it also doesn't have static because it has a carbon fiber hose, which is awesome. Anti-static, HEPA filter, all that great stuff. I, I cannot wait until I have 800 bucks to go spend, but I don't right now. So today I'm going to show you how, with one simple part, we can hook this up to our rigid shop vac and get almost the same results as using the Festool vac system. So let's head to the hardware store. All right, so this here is exactly what you're gonna be looking for. It comes in a three pack. Cute little tiny thing, but it's uh, like nine bucks. It's got this piece, this piece, and this piece. Make sure you that specific one. Pick one up, you're good to go. All right guys, so we are back from Now, I'm gonna show you how to convert this thing. All right, so you're gonna need some sort of blowtorch kind of deal. And here's the cool thing. So this thing came with three parts. So if you need to extend between two pieces, that's what that one's for, basically. And then these are the two pieces that are really going to matter. Now for this one, you don't have to do anything. It's already much softer. And it just plugs in. It plugs onto your vacuum hose and plugs into this little piece. Now the only problem with this little piece is that it doesn't exactly fit. It's really close, but it doesn't fit too well okay and I don't want to damage this because I do want to get the vacuum later so what we're gonna do is expand this just enough that it'll fit snugly around this piece without damaging the tool alright piece is nice and hot now we just real lightly make sure it's not going to stick. All right, it's still too hot. Let the outside cool down just a little bit because I don't want to leave any plastic residue. And just push it on. Make sure you're not leaving any garbage behind. There we go. So I'm going to push it on all the way up to here. I'm going to squeeze it. Actually, it's really friggin' hot, but that's okay. I'm going to squeeze it just enough, let it cool itself down just a little bit in that shape. Melted it a little bit, but that's alright. Not... Ooh, yeah, it's a nice snug fit. I'm going to pull that. You don't want it to get stuck on there, so I'm going to pull it back real slow, rotating it. <clears throat> let that piece expand out just a little bit. There we go. Boom. As you can see, that's still perfectly fine. It's not damaged. It's not even warm, to be honest. But this now has a nice snug fit right over that boom love it so I'm gonna leave it on right about there the first bulge and let it cool down just a little bit more so that's pretty much it so take your big adapter stick it in your little adapter stick your little adapter piece on your fest tool whatever tool you have I'm just happening to use the domino for this particular project once those two are hooked up, you can hook up your rigid or any other shop vac that you have. 
Boom. Let's give it a test. All right, there's no dust left inside there. There's almost no dust on the tool. Now, I saw a couple of little pieces come flying off while I was doing it, little chips, you know, here and there, but not too shabby. So, yeah, if you guys have uh, some Festool tools and you don't have enough money to get the vacuum cleaner just yet, but you're going to in the future, right, just like me, uh, basically, this is the best way that I found, the quickest and easiest and cheapest way uh, to hack the Festool vacuum system and hook it up to any normal shop vac. Um, Nine dollars and a blowtorch literally took like a minute to actually do it, um, other than cool down time. So, guys, that's it. So, check it out. You've seen the proof. It absolutely works. Hope you like it. Hope that helps you out. Uh, definitely make sure to subscribe down there in the bottom right hand corner if you already have it. Uh, keep checking me out for more DIY videos, giveaways, and whatnot. We'll see you guys around.